Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have our work cut out for us. I am going to be cleaning like our whole entire main living area. Also hopefully down in our basement and my bedroom. And then while I'm doing that, I'm also going to be doing some decluttering and organizing in certain spaces I want to take care of underneath my sink in our kitchen because that is pretty messy right now and I constantly am going in there and so I need to get that taken care of. I also need to tackle the closet in my office, my new office. Previously, that was our old guest room and old playroom and so I have not really touched the closet and I really need to utilize that space and so I need to tackle that. And then we also just recently, yesterday, started decorating our new guest bedroom and so we moved all of the boys' dressers from that room down to their new bedrooms and their basement that we just finished. I want to go through all their dressers and all their clothes and just make sure that we are only keeping things that either fit and that they will wear. Yesterday I had a full-on work day where I just filmed and edited and did some Instagram things and behind the scenes stuff and it took a lot, a lot of time. And when I have full-on work days like that, which is usually at least once a week where I have like a start to finish work day, our house falls to the wayside and we pay for it later. So we're paying for that today. We are getting everything looking good. And while I'm cleaning, I'm going to be decluttering and sharing that motivation with you guys as well. So without further ado, let's do this. So to start out, I wanted to get my laundry going and just kind of swap out some things through my washer and my dryer. And that way it would already be going while I moved on to other areas in our home. So once I get the bedding changed, I started tidying up the floor in our bedroom and I wonder if one day my husband will stop leaving his clothes next to our bed, but it has already been 10 years and it's still happening, so I'm not really holding my breath at this point. But many of y'all have told me that your guy does the same thing, so maybe it's just some kind of like unexplained guy thing, I don't really know. But I also wanted to let you guys know because I've been getting some questions over on Instagram when I shared a picture over there. If you're wondering where the chairs and table went from our little nook area, I actually brought them upstairs so I did not get rid of them, but they are up now in our new guest room which that makeover video will be up later this week so definitely be on the lookout for that and now that this space is empty Kyle will be building us a window seat in our room which I am so 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 excited about when you
So I started spraying this on our bed and I found this room spray at Target and this scent smells so good. So next time you guys go to Target, you guys have to look for this one. It smells seriously amazing. And it's just started making our bed feel really fresh, even when it's not freshly washed sheets, just kind of spraying this on the bed, maybe once every day or two. Next, I just started putting away our laundry, which has been actually so much nicer since doing my big, huge closet purge recently. If you guys have missed that video, I will link it up above for you guys, but I got rid of so much stuff in my closet, so many clothes, and just kind of reorganized the space, and it just feels so, so nice now, and I feel like we are keeping up a little bit better with laundry, which is amazing. So this shirt was something that my dad brought over from Japan when they came to visit recently and I had asked you guys in a recent video where y'all would love to visit or where your favorite place has been that you visited and I loved hearing all of your answers. I was already kind of getting the travel bug and I'm already like really wanting to go travel and just visit different places and kind of experience different things like that but once I heard a lot of your guys' stories and just read a lot of your guys' comments it made me want to go even more places so I cannot wait. I am hoping that we can start traveling a little bit more in the next few years but we will kind of see how it goes but if you guys ever have any recommendations of where to go i would always love to hear them I am done with the laundry finally. Oh my gosh, that took forever. I feel like whenever I get backed up on laundry, it just takes so, so long, but I'm done. And when I went through and just like sorted the boys' clothes, I actually found some that I either knew, they were like either super stained or I already know they're like too small. And so I've just kind of like decluttered very quickly while I was sorting the clothes. And then when I go down to all their dressers, then I'll actually like go through each individual item. But if I know something for sure is something we're not keeping, I will just take it out now and just set it in like our donate pile. But now the room is totally clean other than I will do the floors. And I'll probably go ahead and just do those now and then move on to the rest of the house. Drive a faster car.
Once my bedroom was all cleaned up, it was time to tidy the living room and it has become a mess again, especially with trying to do all of these room makeovers and kind of switching almost all of the rooms in our house. If you guys are new here, we recently finished our basement and because of that, all of our boys have moved downstairs. My office has moved, Kyle had a new office, we are doing like a new guest bedroom. And so the only rooms that have really stayed what they were are just like our main living areas and our master bedroom and bathrooms and everything else pretty much has kind of moved and shifted. And so I feel like our house is just, it's a struggle to keep it clean lately just because we have so many different things moving right now but I know that it will be all worth it in the end. If you haven't seen any of my room makeovers or you're not sure if you've seen all of them, I will link the playlist up above for you guys right here and you can click on that and just go check out the room makeovers. But I love how all the makeovers have turned out and I will be sharing a lot more soon. So make sure that you're subscribed so that you do not miss out on those. So if you've been here for a while, you've probably heard me talking about how I have Hashimoto's and I've been eating mostly gluten-free and dairy-free and this cookbook is amazing for eating that way. So if you guys are looking to eat more gluten-free or dairy-free, this is definitely one that is worth getting. I will link it down below, but I just got this on Amazon and I'm sure it's available at like a bunch of different bookstores and Walmart, I'm sure. So you can find it probably a lot of places, but it's definitely one that I would recommend.
Now I've shared this before, but Bon Ami is one of my favorite natural cleaners for dealing with tough messes. You can find it at Grove Collaborative, which is where I always get mine. And I'll have a link for that down in the description box below, but you can also find it at Walmart and Target. And it just works so incredibly well with getting off tough messes. I use it kind of all over our house in different areas, but it's definitely one that I would suggest picking up. And it's also super affordable. It's usually only about $1.50 for a whole little container and it lasts for a pretty long time. so boring I got up went to work just to get back home and repeat before you I just felt nothing also, I wanted to mention, if you guys love the music that I play during my videos, I have recently just started a new channel just sharing the music playlist. So I will link that up above for you guys, and I'll also link it down in the description box below. But I'm always getting multiple questions every single video on sharing my playlist and just sharing my music that I use. But I just thought that would be really fun, and if it ends up being something that you guys really enjoy, I'll definitely keep up with it and share new music playlists every single week. So here I'm just using my e-cloths to wipe down my counter. 
They disinfect your surfaces 99% with just water. And I always get a lot of questions like, how is that possible that they are able to disinfect with just water? And the way they do that is because they have a technology that traps the germs into the fibers of the cloth. And that way it removes it from the surfaces. And then once you're done, you can just wash your cloths as normal. Just don't use any fabric softener, but otherwise you can either just boil them or wash them in your washing machine as normal. But they are one of my favorite cleaning products. They are seriously like magic little cloths. And if you guys want to order some, I will have a coupon code down in the description box for you guys and I would definitely recommend starting out with the general purpose cloth and the glass and polishing cloth. Those two are my all-time favorites. So I always get tons of questions about my rug and it is a ruggable rug. So far we have loved it. We've had it for several months now, but I have not washed it yet. I just haven't really had to. But in one of my next spring cleaning videos, I will be washing the rug and I will be sharing how it holds up and kind of showing you guys. So definitely stay tuned for that. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action, what we can be. Life with no distractions. We'll get away, this is what we waited for. Next, I wanted to clean, declutter, and organize under my kitchen sink. This has been a long time coming. I've needed to do this for a while, but I wanted to share it with you guys when I did. So I'm finally prepared to do that. And I previously had organized it, as you can see. But I went on this decluttering journey because I don't want to just organize clutter. And I feel like that is what I have done in the past for a long time. And so now I just wanna move forward only keeping what I really need and then organize only that. So to start out, I'm just pulling everything out of the space and then giving it a good wipe down. And then I will start putting in some of the containers and seeing how they fit best.
If you guys end up tackling a project like this, I would love if you guys would tag me, just share a before and after, maybe over on your Instagram stories or something. But I always love seeing your guys' before and after shots. So I will leave my Instagram handle right here if you are not already friends with me over there. This is how it ended up turning out and I think I really love it. I have so many bottles of like half empty cleaner that I need to kind of go through. But here I just have the ones that I am always, always using and then I will just kind of like rotate the bottles of half open cleaner until I get through with them all. So these are all basically the things that I use on a daily basis. This is going to be my little area that I'm going to put like dirty towels and things and that way it is ventilated and it also is smaller so that it doesn't get out of hand and I can just run this into the other room and it's also just right in front so it's easy to get to. This actually pulls out but in front I just have dishwasher tabs. This is just so it's nice and easy to grab and they're still contained but within this other container. Back here are items that I don't use all the time but these are like my multi-purpose concentrates so I just mix these with water and then I have like an odor cleanse product and like a mop thing that I don't use that often but once in a while I will. Here I have our trash bags. This is something that I have been doing for years but if you go to Dollar Tree you can see I'm not even sure like what this is for exactly. Oh I think it actually is for pans if you flip it upside down but it holds trash bags perfectly especially when they come in a roll like this and so then we just pull this and it just like continues to be really easy to use like down to the last of it back here i have like sponges and so i don't grab those every day maybe like once a week i might go back there maybe not even and so i figured that was like a good spot for that but i love how everything turned out it's just it's just simple and i have just what i need and then right here this has been really nice to, and easy to use and also these are something that i've had for a long time but i just wanted to show you guys if you have not seen me share this but i just get these little command hooks and i'm gonna hang like my clean dish towels that are wet that need to dry and then the other one is for my cloth glass and polishing cloth just so it can dry too just because those are the two that i always use i might end up adding some over here just if i find that i if that it would be useful but yeah, I feel like I'm not working with a ton of space down here because this is a garbage disposal and it takes tons and tons and tons of room. And then that is actually our little water heater. That little guy, our little instant water heater. That is that down there. And so I definitely am using a little less space than normal, but I just like things that are in down here that are not like stacked. I really like when they are just flat and laid out. I feel like it's just a lot easier to handle and I would rather declutter and get to the point where I don't have to stack than stack everything up and make sure that I can fit every single thing down here.
So here I wanted to tackle the boys' clothes and declutter anything that doesn't fit them or that they don't wear, and that way I know exactly what they are going to be needing for the new season. One thing that I do is like I know that these ones fit Noah really nice and so instead of having him try on a bunch of things I will just kind of use this as a template and I'll know like I don't really want to go much shorter than this on these and so if they are like way shorter then I know that he has outgrown them and it just makes it a lot less painful having to include the kids and like the whole process of this so instead I will just try like one thing on them usually or like in this case, I already know that these ones fit in really nice and just anything smaller, I will just go ahead and get rid of that stuff. As I hold these up, I know that these ones fit him really nice. So these ones are going to be a lot shorter and I actually know that these ones are pretty short on him. So it just helps me out a lot more. So as you guys know, I'm a mom to three little boys, so if you are a girl mom, you will have to let me know if this is the same, but I have just found that for boys, when they start going to school, they become so hard on their clothes, especially pants, and I've found that it's really hard to keep them in good enough shape to pass them down to their brothers or even donate them because I'm always finding rips and holes in their pants. So if you guys have girls, you'll have to let me know if this is the same, but I have seriously felt like the struggle is real in this aspect as a boy mom. Change the way I love it. Maybe if I try to fix this heart, then I could have stayed the night. I could have called you mine. If I change the way I
All right, I went through everything. This basket is all things that you're either in too bad of shape that we are just going to have to toss or I will end up donating a bunch of these. And then these are ones that are still in good shape, ones that we wanna keep but they don't fit at the moment. And so I will be putting those into storage for the next boy to use. And these ones are going to donate, but look at that, just like sitting in all of their clothes. We got a ton pulled out. So once I was done going through all of the boys' clothes, I moved into the main room in our basement and Kaya was home at this point so he came down to help me. So first we just went through and kind of tidied everything up and put things where they belonged and then Kyle started vacuuming all of the floors and y'all loved his vacuum lines last time and he read y'all's comments and now he is always telling me how he makes the best vacuum lines in our house. So stay tuned for some amazing vacuum lines if that is something that you love too. The last thing on my list was to clean out my new office closet. It still had tons of things from when it was just our playroom. And so I wanted to go in there and kind of clear it out so that I could go through everything and put things in their new home and also declutter what we didn't need anymore. And that way I could utilize the space for all of my YouTube things, like things I have for upcoming videos, my lights and just things like that. Because as it was, the space was not very useful to me. So I wanted to make sure to tackle this space so I could start utilizing it. In the end, it kind of looks a little bit bare, but that's just because I haven't moved all of my stuff back into here because it's kind of scattered throughout the house, different places, and so I need to kind of go through and put things back in here where they belong. So I hope you enjoyed this video and got tons of motivation and inspiration to tackle your own projects. I will be sharing my spring clean and decorate next week and also more spring cleaning videos and more decluttering videos soon as well. So make sure that you are subscribed so that you don't miss out on that. I hope you guys have the best day and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.